Hello everybody, what is going on? This is MD. Another short video and this video will be about which Bitcoin wallet you should use. Now there is some options here and I will only share the wallets that, that I have a good feeling about and are um, to my knowledge and experience the most reliable to use. Um, I do know of some other wallets that um, you can use but that is only for uh, that is your own responsibility and I cannot recommend those because I have read too many negative things about them people that lost a lot of money sometimes millions of dollars got stolen and of course these things are hard to uh, double check and verify but if people make a post somewhere and hey I can't uh, access my funds on this wallet uh, this doesn't work and you see that uh, you see that a couple times maybe 10 20 30 times that's enough reason for me to not recommend something until until it is fixed so um, I will put my recommendations here on what you should be using to hold and uh, receive and send your coins, your bitcoins. Now, first of all, I'm just gonna start with um, the best option that you should be using at the moment, and that is the new beta desktop wallet that has just been released yesterday. Why am I putting this wallet on top? and on the first place basically it is because the Bitcoin development team has been working on this for a while and I have read some very positive things about this wallet already um, it looks like it's very very stable and the corruption chances are very very low near 0% to what I have read also the blockchain is um, about 50% less than the original full note desktop wallet here which is now closing into about 50 gigabytes this new beta desktop wallet will sync much faster and it is only 25 gigabytes and you can decide where to put the folder so the first uh, desktop wallet that you should use is the new beta one and once you have used or installed this you want to make sure that you back up your wallet and your wallet keys file well this wallet key and wallet file you can also use and load on the original older desktop wallet and vice versa so if you have a desktop wallet and not the beta you can open that in the new beta and it will be working also so these two um, are very good um, but this earlier desktop wallet um, can be a little bit heavy on the system and it is far less optimized and now that the Bitcoin team is working hard on this new beta they're fixing and squashing bugs the new official release will be soon here as well this summer with the hard fork in June I can fully recommend this one for Mac users Linux users and Windows users alike so make sure you pick this one up and uh, back up your stuff um, what I cannot recommend is the web wallet there has been many issues with this web wallet and even though it is working sometimes it is more prone to attack and um, you want to be careful with something that is online and that you have to log into so that will be far less secure so better not use this web wallet unless you absolutely have to for low amounts and the same I would say for mobile wallet mobile wallets 
because a phone is easier to hack and crack or get stolen than a desktop PC. You can put a desktop PC in your in your pocket. Um, and usually these things are just less reliable. Also there is you can there's countless of people that have l lost their phone and they have put two-factor authentication on it and they can't access their own wallet because that two-factor is gone they can't access their their data anymore so you see a lot of reddit posts and they are asking hey bitcoin team can you help me in getting my wallet back because i've uh, lost my phone or lost my two-factor authentication etc etc so this is actually not a good thing and uh, so i cannot recommend that for large amounts especially if you are uh, having uh, some coins and you want to keep them safe and secure for for a long time so this this these things mobile wallet and web wallet you should only use them for very small amounts to test it and never store large amounts on it you know if you go to the movies and you want to pay uh, with some bitcoins sure go ahead put some coins on your mobile wallet but always keep in mind that it is risky to do that um, so I will not recommend those two but they can work sometimes or they can work well it's just not what gives me a good feeling and I don't want to tell you guys uh, that you should use it if I don't have uh, uh, that assurance so um, now another one that I have been hearing some good things about is Cryptonator this is a a cryptocurrency wallet that supports Bitcoin and you can also exchange uh, your coins with it now keep in mind uh, that there might be some higher fees than for instance other uh, exchanges like Changely which have which has a very low fee only 0.5 percent in a, in a very small amount if you go from crypto to crypto so you wanna uh, keep an eye on that if you are exchanging coins but to uh, hold coins this can work but it um, these things that I told with the mobile wallet and the web wallet also apply on Cryptonator you don't don't want to put too many coins on it especially if it's online and especially if you don't have access to your keys or wallet file because if something happens with this website then it will mean that you lose your coins because we don't know where they are situated we don't know um, if you have access to the keys um, luckily there's good reviews and I have heard some positive things about it but you want to be very careful with these online services even if they are working now it doesn't mean that they cannot get compromised in the future so they might work for five years and then suddenly the price of Bitcoin rises and this websites get hacked and everything will be gone will they be able to um, reimburse those funds or is it game over usually it's game over um, so you you want to keep that in the back of your mind so this is something you can use reliably but I don't recommend putting thousands and thousands of coins on this wallet unless you have no other option you are on vacation or you don't have access to a laptop or desktop and it would be probably better to keep your funds even on a mobile wallet where you have access to the wallet file some way you can back up your keys then using something like this even though they have very good security but I do ca uh, can recommend this one for uh, ordinary usage daily usage amounts so that is um, 
what this video is about basically uh, just recommending the wallets that you should be using for Bitcoin now guys there's also Bitcoin paper wallet I believe uh, let's see there was one yeah you want to be very careful with this types of paper wallets and I will explain why uh, let me say that uh, let's say that we are creating here uh, something right we're gonna uh, back to Bitcoin let's see create I'm just creating here a passphrase and a Bitcoin wallet. Now, the problem with this is there is no way to import this in a wallet, to my understanding yet. So there is no way to check if this is working. There's also no way to check if if I am sending let's let's say I'll send five bitcoins to this address, right? There's no way to know if they will be arriving. Um, actually, I know the pool operator of Bitcoin UK. He s he says that this this paper wallet is actually dead and it's not working and it's not receiving all transactions so that is why you want to be very careful with this and I do not recommend using this whatsoever unless there is a way to import these those keys import that wallet and see if it's working this is just an unreliable um, way of, of, of making a wallet and many people do this oh, let me make a wallet fast and, 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 and let me send the coins to it I've I've spoken to people who who didn't even have a wallet and they they bought coins and then they made the wallet um, that is not what you want to do first you want to make sure that you have a reliable wallet so I cannot recommend this paper wallets even though they are handy and it looks nice uh, there's no way to check if they're working there's no way to to see if if, if, if if the coins are getting there and that is a big problem because if you are using this paper wallet and you have sent a couple hundred of bitcoins to it and you then realize in a couple years that it was not even working uh, that is not nice to lose coins so if there is any way to import keys uh, in a um, desktop wallet then let me know and I will uh, adjust that accordingly but still this is a little bit of sketchy and risky to make a wallet here um, this video was about which wallet you should be using uh, the first and best option to use is the new beta desktop wallet that is being well developed now by the Bitcoin team and al already very reliable and fast to what my understanding is the second option if you don't want to uh, use the beta yet I suggest installing the beta and the older desktop wallet is this one and you should be always using a full note sync uh, instead of a light note this desktop wallet will be slower but I have never had any issues with it uh, sometimes it can uh, get corrupt but then you just resync the blockchain and it will be fixed again um, that is uh, the only problems that I have encountered with this desktop wallet but never have I not received any coins uh, on this one so I can recommend this one fully as well um, if you cannot use these ones you don't have access to a desktop wallet 
you should be using a mobile wallet if you don't have a mobile you should be using something like Cryptonator and last but not least the web wallet but it would be wiser to just buy yourself an old laptop or an old desktop and just get that beta desktop wallet running because it will be far more secure and you'll sleep way better at night knowing that your coins are safe and your wallet files are well backed. and how you want to back up those files you want to put them on a USB drive a couple of USB drives make some multiple copies on it and make sure those USB drives are of some decent quality and not one dollar second hand um, bought on some sketchy websites you always want to have quality parts especially if you're talking about important data you don't want your data to be corrupted later on so that is that guys um, hopefully you have enjoyed the video and I'm gonna end this now uh, I'll po post the links in the description to download them. You can check out the release notes for this beta here. And um, you can download older versions of the original uh, classic desktop wallet over here. Sometimes um, you can see this, this version here, 1.18, is being downloaded often. Sometimes it helps to not download the latest version but the version before that for stability um, I myself are waiting for this beta to be uh, a little bit further updated and then I'm gonna install that baby and see how it's running but I've heard positive things about it alright guys that will be it because this video is already taken a little bit too long and I hope you guys have a good evening or afternoon or morning and stay secure. Peace out.